Well, we've got our chicken all cut up and everything, so we're going to get ready and bread that and uh, start to fry some chicken. And so we'll be back with you here just shortly. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to season this chicken. And what I've got here is a homemade blend of SPG and, and uh, onion powder. So I guess that's SPGO. And so we've got that mixed up, just uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. And we're going to get ready and shake that on here. And the other thing we're going to do, we're going to add a little bottle of Texas Pete. We're going to put a little spice in this. And we're just going to pour this whole bottle on this and let this kind of marinate for a little while. Uh, while that's setting, I'll get my grease hot. And we'll come back to you and show you what it looks like to fry up some good old fried, southern fried chicken. All right, one thing I forgot to put in my mix here, I usually use egg, and so I got three eggs um, that we've got mixed up here. I'm just gonna beat those up real good. Put a little bit of water in that also. And now I'm gonna mix that in with my chicken. Let that soak real good. Got my glove on too, by the way. Makes it a little better, so we're gonna Get all these chicken pieces coated real good. And uh, we're gonna let those set and soak for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, one key thing about good fried chicken is letting it sit for a little bit at room temperature. Now you don't wanna do it for long periods of time, but you know, 20 minutes, 15, 20, 30 minutes is fine because it just come out of the refrigerator and I can feel this, it's still cold. So, but anyway, we just want to get it good and soaked. I just want to show you too that we've got our Big Lodge deep three inch skillet going and we're going to cook this in Crisco today. That's what my mom used. That's what Teresa's mom used. That's what many of her moms have used. And so that's what we're going to use. We'll get this grease going. Now, you want to get this grease heat it up to about 350 degrees and try to maintain that the whole time is the best way for good southern fried chicken so we're gonna let that grease heat up and uh, we'll come back to you here in just a little bit get this uh, let this chicken marinate for 30 minutes or so and then we'll start to flour it up and, and fry it up well okay we've got our grease heated up here our Crisco got my little insta read thermometer you know, a, a cookie thermometer would be great for this to monitor it. Like I said, you want to get up to about 350. We're about 378 degrees, which is fine. I mean, anywhere between 350 and 400 because once you start uh, placing your chicken in the grease, it will go to, uh, the temperature will start to drop a little bit. So we just want to start this chicken leg in here, get it, get it soaked real good. and in this flour and this is just all-purpose flour we did not season this because we seasoned the chicken before uh, we put it in the flour so we're just going to drop that in there get that other chicken leg out and uh, get some flour on that bigger pieces here. Get it. That's part of the breast there. Now these breasts were so big. A lot of these chickens nowadays, the breasts are so big and plump and fat that you can actually cut them in half and, and be okay. And that's what I did here. I cut these in half. See, even with those three pieces of chicken there, my thermometer is still at 363 degrees. So, we're okay. As far as that goes. Now, one 
one thing about good fried chicken, you just don't want to crowd, you know, your your pan too much. That's one thing. You just, you know, do a few pieces at a time, a batch at a time. And uh, as big as these pieces are, looks like I'm probably only going to get about four pieces in there. And that's okay. So we'll let those cook for about six or seven minutes and on each side. Of course, they're swimming in it, so get them up to a good color. Just drop my temperature down in my, on my thermometer down to 325 degrees, but it'll start to come back up. That's why you want to go ahead and get your grease up anywhere between 350 and 400 because as you start adding your chicken, uh, you know, the chicken's kind of cool and so it will, uh, it will certainly drop the temperature down on everything. While we're waiting on that to cook a little bit, I'm going to add some more of these pieces in here and get them floured up. Cooking in cast iron. Man, there ain't no better chicken than cast iron fried chicken. These thighs in there. What? SPG and onion powder mixed in there with that Texas peat hot sauce. That's going to have a good flavor to it. I'm going to leave these wing tips on here. My wife likes these wing tips. So as I was saying earlier, you can um, cut them off if you so choose. But when you fry them up, they get crispy and, and uh, they got a good flavor to them. But, you know, as we cut the tailpiece off and the back out of this chicken, um, you know, we saved that for chicken stock. You can also cut these wing tips off and put that in with your stock if you so choose. Some people do. Southern fried chicken. Yeah, it don't get no better than that. It don't get no better than that. All right, we'll get this last wing down in this flour. All right, we got them all breaded, and uh, we'll let those cook. Oh, chicken legs looking good now. One good thing about using an Insta Read thermometer, you can always stick that in your chicken and see uh, see what it's uh, what the temperature's like. So we still got a little ways to go. We'll get that chicken up to about 165. Well, let's check this here. Still running about 315 degrees on our grease. And we'll go ahead and turn these chicken legs. And that breath tastes like that. Oh boy, it's looking nice.
go over here. I'm just going to take that underneath there. Yeah, it's still got a few more minutes. It's around about 1.5. Chicken leg is uh, a little closer. It's about 145. This piece here is Got a little way to go. It's about 112, 115. This leg here. And it's getting pretty close. It's about 150. So we'll let them cook a little bit longer. We've got some of these pulled out. I just want to show you how golden brown that is. And uh, so that's how you take and cut up a chicken and uh, saute it up and marinate it up in some good old Texas peat and a couple eggs and uh, a little bit of SPGO and frying it up in our Lodge 3 inch chicken fryer Dutch oven and we're using Crisco today and so we got another piece about ready to come out we got more pieces in here so we're going to let those cook up oh look at that right there Woo. Southern fried chicken, boys and girls. 